Justin is in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Hey, Justin, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, thank you, Dave and John. It is awesome to talk to y'all. I'm excited. Absolutely. How can we help? So my wife and I are on baby step two, and we're trying to get really gazelle intense to pay off our debt. And I wanted to see if you and Dr. John could speak to the physical and mental challenge of working 80 to 90 hours a week on the physical side being like, you know, fatigue, lack of sleep. And on the mental side, you know, your mind just telling you to call it a day when you still need to grind out, you know, those last few hours to make a really good week. Why are you losing sleep? You have plenty of sleep time left. Well, I guess like, you know, a day you, you work 16 hours and you have, you know, an hour commute and, you know, eating mm -hmm. and, stuff like that you may get you know five to six and on a longer day you know you may get four hours of sleep mm -hmm. i often see folks try to continue the life they were living before they went gazelle intense and mm -hmm. they try to squeeze it in meaning i used to watch um all the shows well now i have to just watch my two and there's an hour right there or there's an hour and a half and I want to go to every single Little League game. Well, during Gazelle Intensity, you're going to probably have to miss some games because you got to work some shifts. And that's okay because you're playing a longer game. But I would wonder how much how much all in are you? Yeah, that, 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 if there's some of that, and, and yeah, you check your actual time audit on where your mm -hmm. actual hours are going, um, number one. Um, then... S sleep is necessary. The second thing, though, is is you're not asking yourself to do this long term. This is a short sprint, right? It's not a. It's not. This is not sustainable for five years. Um, yes, sir. That's not what we're asking ourselves to do. And I got a feeling just in talking to you that you have done, uh, in the past, maybe in, in sports or something else, you've done something where you stretched yourself to a limit, and. Um, if you ha if you're a person who's done that, you've experienced what we any of us that have done that, uh, physical or mental or otherwise, you never return to the same shape after that. The, that's the benefit of the stretch. Yes, sir, I have. God has really blessed me with a body that can handle a lot. Yeah. And so, you know, once you've done a half marathon, you've done a marathon, you've done a uh, uh, whatever the, the thing is that pushed you uh, physically and mentally or whatever, then you it changes your level of confidence. It changes the way your swagger, the way you look at the world after that, because you accomplish the goal and, and you know, you break the tape and you, and you go on through. So that that's the way that I have done it is I, I number one, I look at it as a short term play. And so it's not going to kill me because right before you die from hard work, you pass out. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's okay. So, <laughs> but the, uh, so it's not going to kill me and, yeah, uh, and it's short term. And, and then the second thing is, is that I'm going to get more benefits than just the money. In this case, you're, you're doing it to make a lot of money to get out of debt. Okay. But the, right. I'm going to get character benefits, emotional, psychological, spiritual benefits, even relational benefits, because as a couple, we now know we can do things we didn't know we could do before as an individual. I now know I can do that because before I, and it gives me a different level of, well, if I can do that, then I can do another thing. And if I can do that, then I can do another thing. And that's, that's what this is versus being the typical fat American sitting on their couch watching Netflix and never stretches themselves at all. And Justin, yep, there. there's some incredible neuroscience that is – obviously this doesn't um, – you can't, you can't game then or hack this system, but you've known people who get under a squat bar and they feel that weight and they get that weird smile. And there's been people who get under that bar and it's like, ah, too heavy, and they get off. One right. of those people says, this pain is going to be worth this. Watch yeah. this. And then the other person says, I need to opt out of this pain right now. And so there's, it's the, your mindset as you're driving home, you can be like, I'm so tired. I hate all this. This is the worst. I'm so tired. I just clicked another click. How long have you been married? We've been married five years. How's she doing with all this? Um, son, that's interesting you ask that. Uh, one of the other kind of hard things for me is like, say that she has a day off and I'm at work, you know, when it's those last few hours, when I still got, you know, four hours left and I'm already tired and she sends me a text, like, you know, I miss you ready to see you. 
I'm going to think to myself, I'm like, man, I'm ready to see you too. I want to come home. But I'm like, you know, I need to stay here another few hours. And yeah, it's like, that, I know you lost 50 pounds, but here's some fresh baked cookies. <laughs> <laughs> but also, also, again, that's your mindset, bro, because she's reaching out saying, I want you to know I'm not at work with you, but I'm in this with you. Right. And it's real easy for you to be like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so yeah. I, do your best to, I mean, you're all in a short sprint. I, do do your best yeah. to roll that out. So and the good news is she's not she's not whining about she's it. She's not going, ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. You never, oh, you're no, never sir. home with me. Why aren't you ever yeah. home with me? She's not doing that to you. She just said, man, I miss you. I wish you were here. Because I'm yeah, I'm absolutely. married to a country girl that's a hillbilly, and if if they learned one thing at her house growing up, it was unbelievable hard work. She has no patience for people that won't work hard, especially if it was her husband. And so I got the yes, opposite. Sir. I'm like, get your butt out of here and get this mess cleaned up. What's wrong <laughs> with you? You know. And so it was. I, she kicked me out the door. You know. And so yeah. occasionally <laughs> now, when I don't need to work, she's like, would you go to work and get away? You know. It's like and so um yeah. you know so the uh uh but she but that so I had the benefit of a spouse that was <laughs> beyond supportive <laughs> supportive is not the correct right. term she supported you with her foot <laughs> with her foot in your yeah, butt yeah that's it but I mean you know yeah. in your case you've got a sweet one that's being sweet and saying I I miss you but I'm proud of you so you might even tell yeah. her that just go hey listen when you do that it it, it makes me not angry with you, but it makes me angry with this whole situation. It makes it hard to work five more hours. So if you would do that and just add to the end of it, I'm proud of you. You got this. It sure would help me. When my wife was pregnant with Josephine after um, she had we had had Hank, um, she gave me a list. It was just not a long list, but it was a short list. But she gave me a list of mm-hmm. questions I was not allowed to ask in the hospital and when she was in labor. And I said, why did you do this? And she said, because I know you love me. And I know you're going to ask, how are you feeling? Does that hurt? Are you okay? Do you need anything? And she said, right. when you ask those questions. It makes me want to strangle you. I want to set my eyeballs on fire. Just so I don't have to look at your face. Your eyeballs on fire. Right? So <laughs> she said, I, yeah. the best way you can love me is don't do this. I'll let you know if I need some. And so yeah. I think for you, just like Dave just said, if you let her know, hey, when you reach out, it, oh, man, I know you're telling me that you're proud of me and you love me, but it just makes me hate being at work, and which makes me hate myself and makes me hate all this. Yeah. Can you just text me and say I'm so proud of you, and I'll know that you miss me. When you're when you're running the stadium stairs, um, you you have no memory of doing that. When you look at the scoreboard at the end of the Super Bowl and you won, or you make that catch, yeah, you have no memory of running the stadium stairs. You, your brain does. Your brain allows you to do the only the celebration. Justin, you're a stud, man. I'm proud of you, and I think you're going to be okay. Uh, the good news is you're smart enough to talk about it and say I'm tired. You're smart enough to even take a look. Take okay, I gotta take a day. I'm done. I gotta take at least a day. I can't breathe. You you know where your limits are, but pushing those limits is not a permanent thing. It's not a way of life. It's a moment in time, and the benefits are going to exceed the pain. I can promise you. Live like no one else, so that later you can live and give like no one else. <laughs>